Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Celebrity Cars. And uh, you clicked on the right race car, folks. Holy mackerel. Anyway, welcome to Celebrity Cars, Las Vegas. Uh, we're located halfway between Henderson, Nevada and Summerlin, Nevada, right off the strip here. Uh, right down the street from the Silverton Casino. Uh, come by and see us sometime. We got muscle cars in there, antique cars, the Ferraris, Lam exotics. We, we got it all in there. So come by and check us out sometime. But today, you're checking out this boss. Well, let me tell you folks, born a GT500, 2008 GT500, okay? There's more customization going, documented customization going on here than you'd ever believe. So, I know you've seen the asking price. You clicked on the button to watch this video. That means I'm telling you that you need to buy it now. You don't need to come drive it. All you gotta do is finish watching this video. And if you're a fan of uh, GT500s, the first gen of the of the the new creation of the Mustang to look like the old Mustang. Uh, you like yellow. Uh, uh, you like to go really fast in ways that you're not ready for. Okay, uh, there's a difference between GT500 horsepower and no weight back there and spinning tires. And then there's this car, where the largest attempt to keep a 50-50 weight distribution like ever. I'm exaggerating, but this is a new car to me. I know it's a new car to you, but yes, these attempts were made on this vehicle. But I got to stop geeking out. And what I'm doing is I'm like your personal living, breathing uh, condition report. So you're going to watch this video all the way through and you're going to see all the special stuff that it's got. But what I have to do is talk about how many marks, bruises, chips, rust, all that kind of stuff that might be on it. Because a lot of people want to stay at home right now and stay on the couch. They don't want to get on a plane. Fair enough. That's why I'm here. Okay. So we're going to walk around the whole car. If I see a scratch or I see a ding, I'm going to let you know. Because that's what you would do if you were here. Okay. So I understand. Been a car buyer too. So. Without further ado, let's start with the nose. This is where most of the stuff happens up here. I believe this car in general overall still has under 10,000 miles. I'm not positive, but you're reading the listing. You can figure that out on your own. But what I want to do is go over the nose cone of this Mustang. Uh, it's, it's yellow. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm outside right now. There's a couple little water marks down on the lower uh, spoiler only because uh, uh, the water escapes a couple minutes later and the detailers miss it. So it leaves a little pool down here. If I put my finger on it, go like that, it disappears. Sorry about that. I didn't, certainly didn't want that to be in the video. But, so you look at the lower diffuser, we'll start all the way down there at the bottom of the lower spoiler, excuse me. Uh, carbon fiber, it's got a nice reflection to it. Um, the, uh, the black bumper um, here looks to be uh, m maybe some home paint, but uh, tastefully done. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's all one color paint and it's okay. Uh, then uh, we have a couple little more watermarks here. Sorry about that. Got to talk to the detailing department. That's a little extreme. But then we work our way up here and we have nothing but beautiful yellow paint. I'm trying to find some nicks and bruises in it. And every time I do this, it just happens to be a bug. Um, I, I'm going to say that all this stuff down along here, it's all going to come out via our detailer, okay? Uh, here in the middle, that's just a bug. Uh, the license plate holders have never been used. There's a really small little itty bitty dimple right there. I know the camera guy right here, a young lady using the camera right now is trying to, trying to, to, to see these little nicks and stuff. I'm really being picky folks. I need you to know that. But again, that's why I'm here, okay? This is all little watermarks. Again, uh, we're gonna get these cleaned up for you because uh, you're gonna buy this car after you watch this whole video. Um, the whole paint scheme here, all of this is uh, brilliant. There's barely any road wear. Uh, you know, if the car has under 10,000 miles, it really shouldn't have a whole lot of road wear, so I shouldn't be so shocked. But uh, let's work our way down the driver's side first, and we'll come back to the hood on our way back since I'm bent over and already looking at these areas down here. Just some watermarks, folks. Nothing really big. Here's your front uh, driver's side quarter panel. Thank you, McCarran Airport, for your jet. <laughs> and... Uh, 
We don't have any rubbing here from the tires, folks, just so you know. You know, you see these are a little bigger. I believe, uh, I don't recall what size are born on this car, but I don't, I don't think they're 20s, but these are 20s. Uh, I believe you got 19s on your, or 18s on your stock uh, 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 GT500 back in 08, but I could be wrong. But these are 20 inch. Uh, they're very, very, very cool. Um, and uh, it seems we have no road rash or anything like that. So we're in good shape. The tires, very expensive and fancy, very nice. Okay, uh, working my way down, we're gonna speed up things here a little bit before I find something else to geek out on here for you folks. All of this is beautiful. Let's see if we see anything that needs to be noted. Oh, okay. Got a little scratch there, folks, see that? That's it. This whole side here. I don't even see any abrasions from getting in and out of the car. The driver's side glass looks terrific. The rear wheel has no curb rash. Even these inner sills here, folks, uh, all this yellow paint inside here. I always look at this stuff and I always make sure that they're clean when I, uh, when I take care of my cars. And uh, all this back here, all this, although this car has tons and tons and tons of horsepower, I don't see any uh, blatant rubber back here from obnoxiously spinning the tires and stuff. So this is a well cared for, well built car. Okay, excellent rim, rear bumper. Well, folks, I have to stop right now and start talking about this rear bumper. I mean, holy crap, okay? This is, uh, t t you Mustang guys here, okay? We're, we're, we'll talk about all this other stuff in the detail later, but I gotta geek out again for another second. Look at cutouts here, okay? And go over here. You don't have to get so close, my dear. And the cutouts over here. Now, if you guys aren't at home right now going, holy crap, how the heck did he do that? then I'll uh, stop watching this video, go buy another car, okay? Because this doesn't happen. Two bumpers, cut in half, split, just un unbelievable stuff. Look how attractive this uh, a butt end of this Mustang is. Just uh, un unbelievable. All of this back here, the paint looks terrific. Beautiful yellow, nobody's backed in anything. There's no spider webbing back here. There's no uh, whoopses, there's no nothing. Let's look up on the upper deck lid of the, the all this beautiful black here. I presume that this may be a, a, a wrap here. Uh, very tastefully done, beautiful. And let's work our way up the paint on the passenger side. That's just some goop. The stripes all look good. And once again, the paint here. I'm going to look down the side of the car, see if I see any dings. I don't see any dings whatsoever. And once again, these wheel wells are in very nice shape. No rubbing here, okay? I'm rubbing my hands right here. I don't feel anything, okay? And this paint all the way down the side here. You can stay there. I'm going to walk in front of you. We'll look at this together. Beautiful. No marks down here either. That's just some more goop. Once again, every time I try to erase some goop, it comes right off and thinking it's a mark and it's not. Beautiful. This wrap is extremely tastefully done. It all lines up, it's beautiful. And your front wheel and tire is terrific. No curb rash on any of these. The tires even seem to still have the new, the new uh, goo still on them. Okay. Boy, what next? I want to talk and talk and talk about this car. Let's look about. Let's look at the hood. This hood is beautiful. A lot of work went into this hood, folks. As I mentioned earlier, we have another little uh, segment that's going to follow right after we're done here uh, about what all's been done to this car and how much work has been put into this car and how much money has been put into this car. You wouldn't be like, oh my lord buy this car, like now. You're looking for a fast Mustang, we shouldn't be talking anymore. We've got lots of cars for sale here, it's celebrity cars. I've never talked this way about a car we've had for sale. <laughs> you can go look at the other videos. All right. Carefully take these out. Oh, I have to pop it as well.
タッタラララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララ The horsepower, all that stuff you're going to find at celebritycars.com. And you're going to find out a lot more information about this build a little further along here in this video. Okay? Carbon fiber, everything under here, folks, looks、uh, generally new. Okay? I've got a couple little marks here in the yellow paint.、Um, uh, other than that, except for a, a couple things to wipe down,、uh, generally this car is、uh, in incredibly sharp. If you notice underneath the hood here, you see the dyno liner here,、uh, dyno mat. This entire car has been done, folks. <laughs>、uh, to drive this car is,、uh, is, is a treat、uh, you wouldn't believe.、Uh, but we're, we're going to attempt to do that in, in a couple minutes. At least you get to hear it and so on and so forth. Okay. Get the hood nice and closed. I'll put those pins in in just a moment. Let's take a look at the, inside the trunk here, real quick. Okay, and again, once I, like I said a little further along the video, in case you did any fast forwarding, we're going to have a lot more、uh, stuff to go over. It's a fancy car cover. I, 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 I briefly want to show you the documentation. Get a good glimpse of this, folks. You want to know what was done with this car? I don't even need to open it. Look at the attention to detail this automobile has been given, as well as its paperwork. Table of content, con,、uh, contents. This is almost a book on how this car was built. Incredible and insane. Sound system. Wait till you, wait till you hear the speakers and、uh, wait till you see the detailed information about the sound system itself. Okay, I'm going to close up the trunk. And、uh, I'm going to open the passenger side door while, and I'll meet you over in the driver's side. I come over here to open up the passenger side so you can see inside a little bit better with the light that we have to work with today. We've got a couple clouds, a couple little rain showers scooting by. So it's not normally as bright as it normally is in here.、Uh, but、uh, I'm going to take a look around. You and I are looking at the condition of the interior together for the first time. I've only been in the driver's seat for just a moment. But other than that, the carpet all looks terrific. Uh, there's a, a small mark in the carpet over here on the passenger side that you'll take a look at in just a moment.、Um, uh, mild, very, very mild, if any,、uh, little abrasions from you know, keys, from a, a bracelet,、uh, but nothing that's going to get you、uh, all、uh, worked up. There aren't any major gashes taken out of anything. So,、uh, just all very, very normal stuff. The seats look like they've never been. Sat in as far as this plane is concerned and this passenger seat.、Um, from getting in and out of it just a couple times, you will have this little wear right here in the inside uh, uh, arm of, of the chair of the seat.、Uh, so, just a little abrasions, but there's no rips or tears there. There's no cut into it or anything like that.、Uh, to get into the sound system and the, the audio and the Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff, I, 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 you're going to have to read all about that.、Um, they have a, a Custom installed backup lights,、uh, custom installed gauges.、Uh, the steering wheel is this great big lug of a steering wheel. It's awesome to hold on to.、Um, the shifter,、You've、got a line lock going on in here. You got, I, I see, I gotta stop talking. I'm your condition report and I'm getting all into detail here. Okay, check out these speakers. And if you don't mind, if you could walk over here to the passenger side、uh, to get a good look at the driver's seat and the carpet there, that would be great. Thank you. The inside of the door panels, as well,、uh, while you're looking at what you're looking at,、um, all of them are really sharp. There's not any、uh, loose panels or anything like that. It's all very heavy and it, it's a, a very, very well built, very well、uh, customized, and very well put back together. Headliner looks terrific as well.
Um, looking inside the door jams, the color inside the door jams, there might be a little itty bitty nick of climbing in and out over here inside this door jam, but uh, things that you could see in the photographs. Don't forget, you could go to celebritycars.com um, and see over uh, 85 photographs of this car. Uh, obviously, you're watching the video right now. And uh, we're gonna go for a quick ride in this car too. I've got nothing to go over, folks, nothing more. The roof looks terrific. There aren't any scratches or dent up, dents up here. Uh, this rear louvered window panel is all black and all in one piece. I don't see any bang ups or marks or anything like that in it. I presume the glass looks terrific underneath, which I can't really see right now. But other than that, man, this is just, I, I uh, what a car. What a car, the brakes have been upgraded. The suspension has been upgraded to the full extent of the law. <laughs> um, it's uh, an amazing ride. So uh, we're gonna wrap things up now. I'm gonna put this car back together and we're gonna go for a quick ride. Ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves in this unbelievable 2008 GT500 Mustang Custom. And like I said earlier, Custom doesn't even begin but you're, you're, you're already halfway through this video and you see all the details. We got a couple little uh, uh, spits going on here, a couple clouds going by with moisture in them today here in Las Vegas. So we're gonna take it easy, but we normally always take it easy. But uh, I wanted to walk through starting it, you know, the clutch and all that kind of stuff. And then once again, like I said, if you fast forward it up till now, you just wanted to hear it, you've gotta go to Celebrity Cars to, uh, and the, uh, the following videos to, to see all the details. Okay, I'm gonna shut up, clutch in, Okay, my foot's on the brake. Gonna put the park brake down. Okay, I put the park brake down, I get music. I don't want any music right now, thank you very much. I don't know how to, there we go. All right, the radio's been muted. The clutch is in, I'm gonna engage first gear. Uh, by the way, folks, the odometer reads 8,956 miles. So that is original miles of the car, yes. Okay, I'm going to go through first, second, and third gear, and I'm, then I'm going to tell you when I'm going to hit the brakes. But I'm going to let you and me, we're going to hear this and enjoy this for the first time. First gear. I'm doing about 40 miles an hour. I'm gonna hit the brakes for the first time. Three, two, and one. Wow. Okay, we're talking heavy duty brakes here, folks. So I hit the brakes really hard. I did not pull to the left or right. It was all very nice and smooth. I did feel the brakes working extra hard uh, towards the end. Uh, 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 a small, you know, uh, no, I don't wanna say grind, but uh, them working very hard to keep this very fast car uh, uh, loaded. If I come up with anything else I should mention about the brakes, I will. Okay, clutch is back in, first gear. Still in first gear. Uh, it's very quiet in this car, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you've ever heard of Dynomat before, I believe it was something very similar installed in the entire car. So it's uh, a little louder outside than it is inside, that's for sure. Okay, my foot's on the gas. I'm gonna shush, and we're gonna go through the gears. Okay, my foot's back on the brake. We got through three gears. I feel the horsepower. I hear the supercharger. I'm gonna go back down into second gear. This car is super smooth. We're gonna go back down a little runway here one more time. I'm still in second gear. 
and third and fourth and I'm going to do the brakes one more time folks three two one okay now uh, when I started the car earlier when we first initially started this video we have a cold car okay uh, this wasn't all warmed up and all ready to go for you uh, we're not hiding anything um, the temperature gauges everything is good fuel pressure oil pressure everything's terrific um, uh, the brakes have uh, warmed up just a bit. They're not as noisy as they were from initial start. And that's good stuff. I'm going to do a U-turn and we're going to go back to celebrity cars. Okay. Get up to 60 miles an hour. Never left second gear. I'm going to pull over right here and we're going to hop out together, leaving the video camera on, and we're going to show some of the headlights and some of the custom lighting that we've got going on. Awesome, fast car. By no means did I have my foot hard on the accelerator here, folks. That was just a very firm uh, driving. Uh, this car is uh, 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 follows all of the expectations that it speaks of. Park brake is up. Okay, let's go check out the headlights up front. You gotta see this. And that's only the beginning, folks. It does lots more light ups and such. This is quite the car. Well, listen. If you have any more questions, please give us a call, 702-818-1031. Again, in case you've missed this portion of the video, please go to celebritycars.com, read the description, all the lineup, everything that's been done to this car will be listed. If you continue to watch this video, it'll go through all of the modifications that were done to this car. Don't miss it, make sure you watch it. And if you have any questions, like I said, once again, give us a call, 702-818-1031. Thanks for checking out this 2008 GT500. It's awesome. You got to buy it now. It's going to go quick. This is all the additional lighting that was done to this car. It comes with its own fancy remote and you can change what all it does. Pretty cool, huh? Got a whole bunch of different programs here. Just wanted to show you the lights inside, how cool it can be.